Hello everyone. Today I'm finally going to show you the steps I took to create my Batman 2021 cosplay. All right, to start things off, I made a template of the chest armor and that I'll trace over onto 10 mil HD foam. All of the outside edges are straight 90 degree cuts, except for the inside cut that joins with the chest piece. That will be cut at a 45 degree angle. Next, I cut out the main chest piece. All sides of the chest piece is cut at a 90 degree angle, so everything's a straight cut. And after all of that was done, then I started to cut out the main battering. Right here, I'm just removing material uh, just to have the bat shaped hole in the chest. Uh, on the original paper template, I just used that battering to trace a separate uh, template to insert inside for later. With those pieces cut out, I applied my heat gun just to heat them up a little bit and put some curves into those bad boys by using my styrofoam ball. After that, I apply my layer of contact cement and join them together after the glue has dried and became tacky. Here is one half of an assembled chest piece. I duct taped my mannequin and drew on the remaining template for the armor. I made my paper template and traced it onto 10 mil HD foam. Now I did remake the chest armor. I didn't like the curve that I had at the top, so I did remake a set with that curve removed and just a straight cut at the top. This is my updated chest armor piece. As you can see, there's that straight cut instead of that curve. And I did add an angle cut on the ends. So when I join them together, they kind of arc down, make a little uh, valley. Next, I made half of a vest template that the armor pieces will rest on. I'm using this Yaya Han two-way stretch hexagon fabric that I got from Joann's that the template will be traced on. I flipped the fabric around and traced one half of the vest and just flipped the paper around to trace the other half. And after that was done, I cut everything out. I also transferred the markings from the template to the fabric where I'm going to attach my elastic. Before proceeding, I tested the fabric onto my mannequin to make sure everything is looking as it should and did a test fit with all of the armor pieces taped together on it. I positioned everything on the fabric one more time to make sure everything's going to fit the way I want it to. And once I'm happy, I start applying my layers of contact cement on the fabric and the foam and start attaching everything together. And after all of that was done, I positioned the side pieces and got those glued on as well. This is the end result after everything has been glued. I used my template to cut out this battering and scored in the little detail here. Since I didn't know what the back armor looked like, I used Zing Prod's Nightwing back armor to couple with mine. And of course, after cutting out the template, I glued everything together and did a test fit to see how everything's gonna look and started measuring how much elastic I would need to join them all together. I whipped out the sewing machine to sew on some elastic strips on both ends of the fabric and added some buckles on either end. The other half of the backpack buckle was glued onto the back armor. I measured how much slack I need for the shoulder pieces, but once I had that figured out, I glued them on and of course attached them all together. Moving on to the collar, just like everything else, I made a paper template and traced it on to 6mm HD foam once I was happy with the shape. The bottom of the neck guard was cut at a 45 degree angle, so when I attach the bottom piece, it will flare out. After that, I applied my contact cement and glued everything together. And here is the completed simplistic neck guard. I made another template for the shoulder armor. 
and of course once that was made I transferred it over to cardstock paper. I traced the template of the pauldrons onto 10mm HD foam and cut it out. I did a little heat forming to get the pieces curved and once that was done I applied my layer of glue and glued the two seams together. After completing my two identical halves, I glued those two pieces together, creating one pauldron. I cut out this pauldron top layer out of 2mm foam, glued it together, and attached it onto the main pauldron. I also made these detail strips out of 2mm foam that will need to be attached later. Moving on to the bicep armor, I traced the overall length of it and added on the details as I went. I used the pattern to trace the template onto 2mm foam and cut out the shapes. I used my template to position my foam details. This is what I ended up with once everything was glued on. I also added a strip of velcro so I'll be able to take it on and off easily. To finish up the details, I added a strip of 2mm foam and about halfway through I added a buckle to kind of complete the look that I was going for and continued on installing the rest of the strip. I did scratch up the surface of that buckle and added epoxy to make sure it doesn't move. Going back to the pauldrons, I used this foam punch to punch out a few foam circle details out of 2mm foam as well as cut out these corner details uh, for the pauldrons as well. Right here, I glued on the corner details, and once they were all done, I glued on the little rivets. The last bit of detail that needed to be added are the foam strips here out of two millimeter foam, which I just super glued on. With the pauldron and bicep armor completed, I just needed to add a strip of Velcro on both ends so they can rest on top of each other and be removable. This is the progress up to that point. I wrapped my forearm in saran wrap and tape so I can make my gauntlet template. After making my pattern, I traced it onto six millimeter foam and made little dashes where I want my elastic to go. With everything glued up, this is my base for the gauntlet. I bought some wooden dowels from Michaels so I can create the little needles that he has on his gauntlet. To make this, I brought the dowel over to my belt sander and just kept rotating until I got a pointed tip and that will just be the top. Once I'm happy with that, I flip the dowel to the other side and just keep rotating and just eating away material until it's just thin enough to where I can get it to fit inside of a pin. Here I have all of my dowels cut out and a paper template for the gauntlet. I bought a 10 pack of pins that I will gut and use for the needles to insert into and I'll just squirt a bunch of hot glue inside to secure it all in place. I traced my gauntlet detail piece onto 2mm foam and used my wood burner to burn in a few panel lines on it. Once all of that was done, I glued it up and attached it. I made the fins for the gauntlet out of 4mm foam and for the little razor blades on the top, I made that out of 2mm foam. With both of these pieces all glued up, I used the wood burner to burn in the details. I cut a slit into the gauntlet so I can slide in the fins one by one, and once they're all positioned, I secured them in place with a little contact cement and hot glue. Before adding the needles, everything will need to be painted up first. I taped off the vest so I won't get any paint on it, but I definitely should have painted all the pieces first before attaching it to the fabric. I applied three layers of plastic dip before covering everything with three full coats of matte black. And yes, I'm using black instead of a dark gray because I want black instead of gray. Because I'm a stud. I'm ballsy. I don't take no shit from anyone. I don't have to find a hideout place like you. <laughs> I cut a slit into each of these grooves that I will use to feed the elastic through. After I made the first loop, I tightened it onto the needle, cut it to length, and glued it in place, and using the same hole that the original was fed through, I started another loop for the next needle, and so on and so forth. This is what the first set looks like. 
After everything's in place, I use a bit of super glue to add on the little tiny needles that are in between the big needles, and that should complete the overall construction. Back to the battering, I glued on the raised details. Uh, that'll be the little clip on the ends, as well as the two clips on the inside. And I used a bit of Dremel work to get some of the details also on the inside. I painted the batterings in a metallic black finish and went over the edges with uh, some metallic silver and some silver rub and buff to give it that look. Moving on to the cape, I used a black fabric that I got from Joann's. As you can see here, I'm just cutting out the hole for the neckline. And then for the side, I'm just doing a straight cut, nothing special, just to give it that look. If you saw my last video, you saw how I attached the cape onto the armor, uh, but basically I'm using Velcro sandwiched in between the two. To weather the suit, I'm using a combination of black and gray, and I also did a variation of that with beige and brown to give more variation to the gauntlet fins. I marked the set of circles onto the batarangs where I'm going to install the magnets. So I used my Dremel to drill in the circle. And once I was done, I just glued on the magnets on the back of the batarang as well as the other end on the suit. With all of the magnets installed, they snap right in place. This beautiful cowl is from Fanatic FX on Etsy, link down below. And that's the full build plus the suit up. I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. And until then, be safe and y'all take care.